Well, we've gone through Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and now we're at Giving Tuesday. Charities around the country are encouraging people who have been spending the last few days to now start giving. Adam Schrager joining us with some tips on how to be safe when you're donating. So the holidays, you know, tend to statistically be the time of year that most people donate because consumers experts, though, they do want you to use the same caution that you use any other time of the year in the process of giving. The Better Business Bureau released a series of tips for consumers on the topic. You want to watch out for copycat charities just because they may have buzzwords like American or veteran or cancer does not mean they're charities you know. You also want to do your homework. Don't give without doing any research. Study how the charity is governed and where it spends its donations. My dad likes to say it drives my mom crazy when he says this, but don't make any decisions today that you can make tomorrow. The BBB <laughs> agrees, encouraging you to avoid any pressure coming from a charity. Whether it's buying a car, siding your house or giving to a charity, you really need to step back and think, okay, why are they pressuring me so much? What is the big urgent issue here? If, if, a, if a charity is reputable, they're happy to take your donation on Giving Tuesday. They're happy to take it on January 30th. All right, switching gears now to some call for action success stories over the last month. Susan Davis in Beloit was having a problem with DirecTV. Our volunteer Steve made some calls and Susan was reimbursed $317 for her trouble. Laura in Madison was struggling with her car dealer to fix her recalled part. Our volunteer Barb helped her get the $1,000 part installed without any cost to her. Chad was having trouble with the travel website Expedia and our volunteer Diane helped him get reimbursed $500 over an improper rental car charge. All right, yeah. time for this week's spam report. You've got yeah. a little bit of everything, and our friend Tim Town is back this yeah. week. Yes, he is. There's a dying woman, millions to give away to charities, and as you mentioned, Tim is here, but he's flying solo today. I've benched the kids trying to keep their <laughs> egos in check as we help steer people away from the spam emails that seek to get their money and personal information in this week's spam report. From John Coffinor, subject, Please read and write to bradlawson3 at vf.vc. My name is Francis McDonald. I am a dying woman who had decided to donate what I have to you. I am 59 years old and was diagnosed for cancer about two years ago, immediately after the death of my husband who had left me everything he worked for. I have been touched by God to donate what I have inherited from my late husband to you for the good work of God, rather than allowing my relatives to use my husband's hard-earned funds ungodly. I have decided to will slash donate the sum of 10.500,000 USD, $10,500,000 to you for the good work of the Lord and to help the motherless, less privileged, and also for the assistance of the widows. At the moment, I cannot take any telephone calls due to the fact that my relatives are around me and I have been restricted by my doctor from taking telephone calls because I deserve all the rest I can get. I know I have never met you, but my mind tells me to do this. And I hope you act sincerely. Thank you and God bless you. Francis McDonald. All the angry relatives were a little creepy. I don't know about you. <laughs> they looked alike, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, there are just so many red flags here. It makes you feel as if it's hurricane season in the middle of December in Wisconsin. Just hit delete. If you have any consumer problems you need help solving, call for action any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday between 11 and 1. You can reach the volunteers at 608 270 2833, or you can call for action anytime by logging on to channel3000.com slash call for action. Does anybody fall for those? Yes, yes, really. Uh, Apparently, sadly, somebody they... does, which <laughs> is why we need to continue to do these because that's all it takes is one person. If you can alert one person, that's right. Not to fall for this, just read it out loud and right. try to get those images of the angry Tim Town relatives. Tim come over and read it yeah. for you. Or have him come over. There <laughs> that's you go. great. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Adam. But anyway, anyway, we'll be right back. <laughs>